you right. have like a yes now grab the bottom of your ankle and pump like is there that should be less painful yeah so you're gonna do like 15 reps where you squeeze as hard as you can and then let pressure off and every once in a while you're gonna have to push that dog mat back up in your crook of your knee and then we're gonna try to do that from your knees and i'll show you what we're talking about Am I supposed to be feeling any pressure? No, hopefully not. Because okay, what yeah. we're kind of proving here is when you do a squat, there's pain, which is knee flexion. When you flex it passively, there's not pain. So there's a disconnect. So there's something going on with how we're going into that position that's creating the pain. Yeah. So now take that dog mat. If it's not too painful, get on your knees like this and put that behind your knee and see if you can start to sit back so there's way more pressure. So it should kind of buffer it. There shouldn't be any pain here. I don't feel it at all. Good. So give me about 10 reps there. And if you can, like, really, like, sit back, come back up, push back in there, sit back. Perfect. Yeah. You got about seven more reps. Now we'll retest squat, just see if anything changes, and we're probably going to have to do a little bit more. And this may right here may be something that I have you do a couple times throughout the day for the next day or two to kind of like you're kind of creating like a hydrodynamic pump. You're pushing fluid out of it, but you're also like mobilizing the front of that knee. Hit one more rep after this one, man. And then we'll just see what a squat feels like. Okay, so retry that squat. Wow. A little bit better. I mean, I'm way further down the squat, but I mean, there's still just an astronomical pressure. amount of pain and pressure right here. Yeah. So we're definitely going to do that a couple times a day there, Tyler, to try to get a little fluid out of there. And then let's do this. So I'm trying to see what you got in your room there. Do you have a, do you have a physio ball, like an exercise ball or a little kid's ball anywhere? or a basketball or I think on your wall right next to you, you're going to put that ball in between your left knee and the wall. Does that make sense? So you're going to do a squat. Yep. But your goal is, I don't want your hip to touch the wall. I want you to push into that ball as hard as you can and try to go to a squat. Tell me is a better worse saying. Yeah. You're going to kind of have to manipulate. I can't feel it. Okay. So give me like six reps. But what I want you to do is you're going three seconds down. So it's like a slow down. So one, two, three, you're gonna hold for a second at the bottom and then pop back up. You got four more reps like that. Kill that football, man. Just crush it. There you go. Nice. Three more. Okay. Yeah, man, you're like a witch doctor. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not. You are. You're the one doing it. I've never sweat so much from doing five hair squats. <laughs> Uh, okay. Last, okay. So now take the football out when you're done with this one and let's see what a regular air squat feels like, but try to recreate that push out, even though the football is not there. Better, but still just, oh. yeah. and realize it's a little tweaked, right? So did you say you played golf yesterday or the day before? Yeah, but I'm left-handed. So all my weight goes to my right leg. Right. But think of what your left knee could do as you come in so if it can crash in a little bit so if you watch my knee i'm right-handed if that yeah. knee crashes you get a big like what's called a valgus load so your think of your femur can kind of rub across the inside of your or the underneath side of that patella or kneecap and it can yeah. irritate that cartilage so i don't think we're going to get you like 100 percent pain relief today i think we yeah. have to get that thing like it's inflamed what about well, we clipping want, in and out of my Peloton, Bo? Like the twisting motion? Yeah. Eh, I mean, that shouldn't – are you saying could that make it worse or – Could that be what would have helped cause this? Like, eh, I mean, maybe, seems, but that's, that's pretty benign, and you're only doing that, like, how many times? I mean, a couple times a day, if at most. Once a day. Yeah, I don't think so. I think probably you just, you know – Something with golf, it was already maybe a little perturbed, then we let that thing crash, and then it's get a little inflamed. So what I want to do is 
three or four times a day in particular before and after workout, whether it's Peloton or in your home gym, get that towel or dog bed. Hopefully we can get a towel after this, put it behind your knee. Yeah. Whether you're actually pumping or you're yeah. sitting back, sitting back's the best because there was no pain and that's way more pressure. And then I want you to do something with either that red band you had putting around your knees or you're pushing yeah. out into it. But for you, I like the ball because you can put way more pressure into it. And then the last thing I want you to do is take your kneecap and literally you were kind of doing this before, like find if your kneecap is supposed to be able to move every direction, right? 